This is Trevor One. And now it's time to go live to Yokohama, Japan and join Trevor Lynham for the Rugby World Cup final of 2019 between England and South Africa in Grandstand. Good morning. Shouldn't you be asleep? Welcome to Grandstand and we've got the Rugby World Cup final, the pinnacle of world rugby and we're in Yokohama, Japan today to bring you the most special of special occasions. Another World Cup final for England. Last time they were here in the terms of rugby union was 12 years ago with an agonising defeat to South Africa who just outplayed them on the biggest stage. We all remember what happened 16 years ago when Dad's army went down under and went ahead and then beat the Wallabies with the last kick of the game. We're hoping here that England can repeat their fantastic form that they've shown in this World Cup. The demolishing of the Wallabies in the quarterfinals and the outstanding performance to dethrone the All Blacks in the semi-final has made for a very, very, very special tournament. The atmosphere is building tonight in Yokohama, so sit back Go have yourself a full English and stand by to hide behind the sofa to take us through the 2019 Rugby World Cup final in the commentary box for us is Trevor McLaren. Well, thank you very much, Trevor. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a bitterly bitterly cold night here in Yokohama, Japan for the Rugby World Cup final. The rain has held off despite this being in and out of uh, the monsoon season. And the Yokohama International Stadium is set to host the biggest game in world rugby. It's estimated there will be over one billion people tuning in to watch this. And we know that there is probably half of South Africa and England tuning in this morning for this big, big occasion. It aims to bring a world in union in South Africa were born of their new way of being viewed from the 1995 World Cup and those famous moments of President Mandela handing the Web Ellis Trophy to Francois Pinar, South Africa go with their preferred lineup and for Eddie Jones he has himself no problems and neither does Erasmus from South Africa. It's the same team that started the semi-final. Andre Pollard will kick us off. And with that the next 80 minutes will decide who is the world's best. And straight away Calls. Young's with the ball out wide straight away there to Anthony Watson who is tackled and South African pining in there. Diego diving in as well as is in for Marlon. But England still have the ball. One that has passed to Owen Farrell on the run being made here by Stickler and in the end he is brought down. Ball still in England's half. Tony May the pass out. Owen Farrell kicking it to find some touch. England's chasing here. That was LaRue picking the ball back up. Diego here. And England turn it over again. Feature these opening moments of this game. The Toji was clipped a little bit forward here. The ball's gone to Ford. In the end, Farrell picks it up after the loose pass. Young's out wide again. Ford kicking it. Gone. Here is LaRue. This pass 
Ross who's looking at a clerk and not able to find him but I think South Africa are going to turn this ball over pass goes out by this is MPP straight away the England pack are on top of him Vinicolo with the throw out Owen Farrell tackled straight away here exactly on the South African 22 Maro Itoje trying to break over to the game line South Africa again doing a fantastic job of defending as they did so well against Wales in the semi-final really was a performance of a lifetime and I think they've turned this over here Springbok have the ball this is Mpipi running into space trying to get ahead Itoje brings it Recycle the ball. Tysworth is the makeshift scrum half. Back to Elliot Daly here. Now back to Anthony Watson. The pass is out wide to Billy Vinopilo. And he is tackled. Rux here. This is the battle of the packs here today. Ben Young's charging in and just about remaining in touch. Bambi has won the ball, pass goes out wide and inside again, now this is Dianendri, Dianendri going through and the opening score, South Africa, Dianendri here picked the ball up and has just charged through, Damien Dianendri here, oh, oh in World Cup finals before, England have never started the best and this one is no exception because in the 11th minute DeAndre's try here though it was the fantastic pass though by Am that set him through he went ahead and sent Daly completely the wrong way and is able to dive over the screen box have the opening moment Andre Pollard scored 16 points in the semi-final kicking game will be vital but he's not missing from there two more points to South Africa and it is 7-0 in the opening moments to Kirk with a put in the scrum right on the 22 so it's a key moment for South Africa to defend this and England have done so well and I think they've turned the ball over and they have, there's the pass out wide in the end and there's Anthony Watson, Watson going through, scoring! Oh Anthony Watson, take a bow, that was a burst of pace like no others. And the pass here out by Ben Youngs. Pass is popped inside to Daly who flies it across to Watson who finishes it off with all the pace and everything that we know that he can do. There's the pass out. Little shimmy pass from BB and he's through. Pass LaRue and Watson is on the score. And Anthony Watson joins the special club of him and now Jason Robinson of England players that have scored in World Cup finals. Tries have been their Achilles Hill. That's only their second and this is their fourth final. Oh, no mistake for Farrow. That was a difficult kick. He's got it. And England are back level here at 7 all. Pass goes out wide. Johnny May brought down with a strong challenge by Am. turn the ball away here this is Vermaelen to Jaeger brought down Pollard is the makeshift scrum half I think there's a knock there for Dwayne Vermaelen a shame if he was unable to continue Lau is coming on in again at the scrum. Used to 
offensive effort required by South Africa. Five minutes to go until half time. Now separating them to Kirk to the throw out. Into space. Back inside and South Africa again looks to recycle play. That was Lowe's first contribution. This is Am um, going through. Brought down and George Ford in the end makes the challenge. going through past the 22 oh what a challenge by Elliot Daly what a fantastic last second challenge oh the drama Khaleesi driving in again pushed back and England have turned the ball over got it down Tom Curry brought down oh and Tom Curry is hurt hurt quite badly and Wilson is on for Tom Curry Curry's World Cup. Big scrum this is. Almost the last seconds of the first half. 7 or a try apiece. The klaxon sang sounds. So as soon as the ball goes dead, this half is over. England trying to force something. Owen Farrell with a little pop pass inside to Underhill. Jamie George sending it back across the middle. Diving over there. Youngs and that's a knock on by George Ford and that'll be half time and you can see it there it's Vinopolo going across one try apiece both converted is all that separates these two sides it's been a fascinating contest England have had more of the ball more of the territory haven't conceded a penalty South Africa have been, been more dominant in the scrum with better offloads England we need to worry about the handling errors but as World Cup finals go it is absolutely level and we do have a potential classics in the works Owen Farrell will have his opportunity to kick us off well, 40 minutes will decide the winner of the World Cup England and South Africa playing here in Yokohama Japan and Delighted to bring you one live and exclusive on a special morning edition of Grandstand. And that's uh, Matiwara being brought down. To Clerk with a pass inside. Now this is Itaisbeth. And he is brought down. South Africa retain. Look to recycle the ball back out. Inside to Am who's down. This might give England the opportunity. South Africa again, the pack holds, they recycle another phase through. This is Matty Waria, he's down. And the England have the ball. The pass goes inside as well. Courtney Laws just being brought them just under the post. Drop goal territory, but will England try and find a way through? Maro Itoje again, he is brought down. Maybe the wrong move, I think South Africa have turned this over. They do. Now Hanberg taking the ball, brought down again, Snigler making the challenge. And England, I think, have turned the ball back over inside the 22 in the South African half. Itoji with a pop pass out, Johnny May going for the line, Olaru oh, with a fantastic challenge. The roof for South Africa has produced a moment of brilliance. And they've got the line out, but Johnny May would have thought that was his try, surely. Big line out to win. Doesn't happen here. Benyon sends it across. This is Underhill. And it's going across. And now this is Tom Curry. Oh, this is Courtney Laws. He's so close. And South Africa have got the ball. And in the end, DeAndre is brought down. And so is Duclerc. The ball is recycled back. Johnny May. Tuolangi does it. Manu Tuolangi. The breakthrough try. Oh, this is just outstanding. Johnny May with a quick ball and Manu Tuolangi suddenly 
found nobody on him five meters from the line he was never going to miss from there it was de Klerk that was powered down by Mako Vinopola and it was Johnny May with the quick pass outside excellent try by England their pressure has paid off and at the start of the second half they've got what they needed which is the score the opening score at the Rugby World Cup final they lead Owen Farrell's got it, two more points, 14-7, game on now. England defending this right on the five metre line. Ball is thrown back, Ford goes across to a Lange brought down and England in real trouble here. South Africa have turned the ball over. England have escaped. Watson going in. George going in. England retain the ball. Farrell unable to kick the ball down. Clark with a put in. Carried back by England. Scrumbeam sits. South Africa right under the posts. Is there a chance for a pick and go? There are people wide if need be. The clerk does go wide. The pass goes in. The little pop pass. And PB has played it through. And Mel Herbie is over. And South Africa are back in the World Cup final. Franz Mel Herbie goes over. And this World Cup final swings one way, swings another. Lovely passes by MPB to play in. Now Herbie, the flanker, to come across and dive over. England. And South Africa are back level again in the Rugby World Cup final. Franz Malhobi will be very pleased with himself with that. Big moment for him. No doubt that Andre Pollard was going to kick that exceptional kicking. 14 all, two tries apiece. We've got a World Cup final classic. 20 minutes to go. Big moment for South Africa to win that. The pass goes out wide. This is an PB and it's a fantastic challenge in the end by Manu Tuolangi and Maka Kosley. Superman PP might be out. He's taken a knock and Francois Stein has been brought on in his area. This is Francois Stein. To clerk with a put in in the scrum. Got the ball, Youngs, Owen Farrell, little pop passed into Underhill, he's brought down four metres from the line. Youngs recycles it again to Alangi going in and then brought down just in front of the posts. Young sends it out to Johnny May, there wasn't a man overlapping, there is a man overlapping. Owen Farrell tries to play it back in and in the end, pulled down and South Africa have got the ball back and turned it over. But England with the pack piling on again. Young's across. Owen Farrell. Johnny May! Mayday for South Africa. Johnny May goes over. The third try for England. The fifth of the match. Vinny Vallapolo with a strong challenge here. The recycle. Ben Young's his pass, Owen Farrell saw Johnny May in space, went for the corner and has gone for it for England. DeAndre, the try scorer, was brought down by South Africa. England recycled Young's, Farrell, May, try. Big moment in the game here. Owen Farrell with a 
conversion. Which would mean in the next 15 minutes, South Africa would need a converted try to go level. He's got it. He's got it, don't you know? Owen Farrell. 10 point accuracy. And England lead 21 14. Andre Pollard knows a big kick and a big 15 minutes is required for South Africa. They're capable of this. They're capable of this, absolutely no doubt about it. Huge hit on the takedown. And when we cycle the ball back out, pass goes inside. Turn this one over to Clerk into Amp. Another pass. South Africa again building in on the pack. Oh, excellent pass out wide. Big challenge by Johnny May. South Africa have men over indeed. Dutois is standing clear. That is uh, uh, Bonambi brought down. England now have the ball and the ruck forming again oh a penalty Sam on the hill holding on it was just a little discipline it's, uh, Khaleesi Andre Pollard is going to kick the touch so they know a try would win this even if it wasn't converted South Africa are setting themselves up for Andre Pollard has got it 17-21 four points separates them a massive defensive performance is required by England in the next 10 minutes if they can hang on they're world champions and Farrell's looping kick is taken really well and England will be hoping here to remain inside the South African half. Owen Farrell into Underhill. He's brought down. Well, I think that's Sam Underhill's day over. It doesn't look like he can continue anymore. And Guinea is on. And Cameron Dickey on for Jamie George. Vinopola. England 
still have the ball. One more minute to hang on for, and they're world champions. It's desperately tense. England players keeping an eye on that klaxon. There it goes. It's to Owen Farrell, who kicks the ball away into touch, and England are the world champions. The most amazing, amazing Rugby World Cup. Paris Avenged. Brian Ashton's team of 2007. Don't worry. Eddie Jones's team of 2019 has eclipsed in and joined the likes of Sir Clive Woodward and the likes of Johnny Wilkinson, Martin Johnson and Lawrence Deladio, Johnny May, Manu Tuolangi and Anthony Watson and Owen Farrell are new legends of English rugby because they have produced the most amazing performance to win the Rugby World Cup the end they just shaded territory possession and these are the players that will have the opportunity to lift the web this trophy and for the second time at their fourth attempt after 16 years of waiting once again England are the world champions and Owen Farrell's men are history makers and England and English rugby is back in the folklore of legends. Amazing. Back to you, Trevor. Ladies and gentlemen, England have won the World Cup. That is just a fantastic feeling, but boy was that tense towards the end. It's astonishing when you think about it for English sports. First they've won for the very first time the Cricket World Cup earlier on and then they win the Rugby World Cup again and now Owen Farrell can be along the likes of Owen Morgan, Martin Johnson and Bobby Moore and people which have lifted a World Cup for their country. It's an astonishing moment here and I'm sure this is going to be the perfect start to a fabulous weekend. Uh, we're going to leave you now, but we're back tomorrow with Match of the Day. Um, I don't know about you lot, but I hope the pub's open soon. I need a pint after that. From all of us here on Grandstand, thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye. Um.